Hi, it's me again with Kirill Gold Tips and Tricks. And while that other video was loading, I thought I would just uh, make a box and, and actually make it different than I made this box. This box took a little while. And I started thinking you could make this box with your rectangle tool. Just draw out a rectangle. Don't worry about it too much and just uh, maybe put it at an angle. Put it like right there and then move that up to the top. And you can see you're never going to get the uh, part right. So just go to object and convert it to a curve. And then you've got node. And then you could take that node and extend it on and move this node to kind of match your artwork and then make your bottom um, kind of, you just have to visualize it. I'm sure there's probably another way we actually need to extend that past that line and maybe not quite so far on this one. And I'm going to call that good. Now, control D and make a duplicate of that box and then start moving it and then hold down the control button. So it'll be perfectly on top of that box. And then with this all grouped together, my nudge factor, I'm gonna set my nudge factor like on four, or not 54. And I'm gonna nudge up this text out of the way just so we can kind of visually see this take a two point line and just make sure you go from node to node and it'll look like that. Now, depending on what the box is going to look like, you're just going to take away lines you shouldn't be able to see, you know, like that. And whoops. And then you can take and just nudge this right back. Huh. I did it just the opposite of what I should have done. Let me back up here. Maybe it'd be safer to keep the text in there. Okay, we got our text. Let's put our text back in. There we go. So I'm, it's kind of, it almost looks like the inside of the box. So to play it safe, maybe we can just cut the lines. And you know, you'll never cut those lines through the text. But if you'll grab that line and go to object and break the curve apart, then when you grab just that line, you can delete that line. Of course, we shouldn't be able to see this line, so we're going to do that. And in this case, we're safe now. So let's grab our text and move it up and just delete this line and then move it back. And then you can do anything you want to after that. You could put a line in the middle to make it look like it's kind of going through there. Um, Take your two-point line and just go from that node to that node, and it would kind of separate it. Uh, you could even play around now that we've got the text. Let's do this. Let's add some color to those. Uh, let's add a gray and a gray and maybe a darker gray on the bottom. And you could do a lot more, but then nudge that back down. Now, a lot of times you don't know, and it is. It's on the back of the page, so go to Object order front of page that looks pretty cool maybe that corner there needs to be come in a little bit um, but that's just preference and then just take away that line anyway pretty fun project hope that helped thank you for watching